briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In State v. Worthy, a 2000 case heard by the New Jersey Superior Court Appellate Division, the defendant was convicted of criminal restraint for restraining his friend KB and exposing her to the risk of serious bodily injury. On the night of November 28, 1996, the defendant forced KB into a car and drove around for 30 minutes, with KB attempting to escape by having her feet scraping along the street. KB's brother eventually chased the defendant and forced him to stop the car. The victim testified against the defendant under duress from her parents, who threatened her with arrest. However, the court's jury instruction did not clarify that the mental state of knowledge applies to all elements of the offense, which led to the reversal of the conviction. The appellate division held that the defendant's conviction was to be reversed and remanded for a new trial. The court emphasized that the jury instruction must clarify that knowledge applied to all elements of the offense, including the risk of serious bodily injury. This decision was based on the principle that a person is not guilty of a crime unless they acted purposely, knowingly, recklessly, or negligently with respect to each material element of the offense. The court noted that erroneous instructions on material points are considered reversible errors and cannot be rehabilitated under the harmless error philosophy. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.